Okay. So, back again. Body being discovered. Yeah. Well then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! We got a second murder. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. Martini! A body? That's a lie! It's impossible! Someone... Someone come here! Kazuichi? <laughs> that was... Definitely Kazuichi's voice just now. Who, who had, whoever had to decide how to spell that, I don't answer them. Sounds like using it by. That screen just now comes from in here. Cautiously, I reach my hand towards the door now. I twist the note knob and try to open the door. Wah. One open? It's locked. Oh, this is different. Like something's blocking the door from the other side. What does this mean? Whoop, 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 whoop. I don't know why I went in such a really big circle, but you know. Can't switch the screen. Is that really hear it coming from here? Huh. Nah. Well, I'm nervous. What am I being nervous about? No reason for me to be nervous. But the discovery announcement? I won't believe it. I'm not gonna believe it. There's no way I'll believe it. Who believes something like that? As I raised my voice, swiftly stepped into the beach house. Hmm. I won't believe it. The moment I stepped inside the beach house, those words mercilessly shattered into pieces. Ah, 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 ah! No! Where? Ah! That's creepy. Myra! Wake up! Ah! You are like our female Togami. You held us together. You are supposed to bring balance to the force. This is all a dream. When did I. When did I begin dreaming? This is reality. Why is my hero on the floor covered in blood? I couldn't understand anything that was in front of me. I couldn't believe in anything. Deadly life. Sea and punishment, sin and coconuts. Mahiru Koizumi, the ultimate photographer. She has an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. At taking care of people. She bathed Sayanji. None of us wanted to bath her. She smelled like a sewage pipe. And she was always straightforward. Towards us and towards herself, she was always facing forward. She was that kind of person. Why her? Why not Sayonji? Why Mahiru? Why? Why did this happen to happen to ba? What's in my face different and grew hard? Hard. Dark darkness clouded my vision. My legs started to wobble, and I instinctively placed my hand against the wall. I don't know why why Gundam, but you know. Why not get them? Hey, Hajime. For this, we are having a great time, right? We're excited about going to the beach. We are having a lot of fun. Ah, but why? But why? Are you kidding me? Why did something like this happen? Someone tell me! I obviously don't know what's going on here either. We've got a clad, clad iron alibi. Oh. Huh? Um. Um. Uh. Book is out again. 
I was at the time to make bubbles. Hurry up and get the others. Buki instantly left the beach house. I'm sure it took some time for everyone else to come here. They had to change and whatnot. It must have taken some time. But I don't really know how much time had passed. My senses were numbed. My emotions were also numbed. Within me, various layers were peeling off like an ogre. Power dungeon. A parfait. Cakes. My senses started to return. <laughs> I couldn't help it, I'm sorry. My senses started to return around the time I realized that pupils were already here. Huh? What the hell is this? Ah! Why, Mahiru? The girls are standing outside the door leading to the beach. Her face is pale with terror. Something like this? Heaven's sake, what in the world is going on? With their pair well, I'm at the bar with their pale faces still intact, the girls began wobbling towards the beach house. Till a voice stopped them. Hold it. Ah, hold on a sec. Hold it. Take that. Objection. Why can't we have her in, in Ace Attorney? I might rip this and put it in it. Never mind. Mm. Those things beneath you. Be careful not to step on them. Who's the other person who said something along those lines? Was it was it Ibuki? Or was it Kazuichi? Whoever it was. Gotta make a mental note of that. Anyway, don't step on those things beneath you. Beneath? See? You know, the footprints in front of that door. There are footprints leading out of the beach house, right? It's probably an important clue. So don't step on them. Yeah, Chiaki. Huh? Game time. If you need evidence. Hmm. Monokuma mentioned it in the announcement, right? After a certain amount of time, we'll hold a class trial. What the Another class trial? You serious? <laughs> you, are you saying this is... That's right! But one of you guys killed her. Yeah! Right. Killed? That's impossible. Hey, hey! Not like an accident or something. Lie. You guys think it's an accident? It still means this death was caused by someone else's actions, right? In other words, so it also counts as a legitimate murder in the first or second or third degree. Does this death fall into a grey area? On this island, I'll make sure it's clear to you guys. On this island, dying from sickness is basically the only death that's not considered a murder. Uh, that's grim. <laughs> well, it's impossible to get sick and die on this island. Not when Manami takes so, such good care of people. Hi. Uh, What's this? Oh, speaking of which. What's good? Like this. There she is. The silent, there it is, the silent treatment attack. This is like the number one thing that hurts me. Aw. Yeah. Well, fine. I'm not gonna listen to your bashing. I've decided to become a tough kid. <laughs> This is the worst. Once again, this horrible nightmare. Another victim. It's all because of Manakuma. No way! <laughs> it's not my fault. Huh? That's his fault, is it, you ask? Yahoo! Find out. We'll hold the class trial. So Let's get that ready. No whining, just to get that ready. It's the Manakuma file! Yay! I'll see you later at the class trial. <laughs> class trial? Investigation? This is horrible. It's just too horrible. Hey. Ah, <laughs> you should have stopped the murder before it occurred. Wedge! Don't you have that kind of power? <laughs> that, I did have the power before he appeared. Perhaps. Even if she tried to stop it. Judging from Monokuma and Monami's relationship, there's no doubt she'd get stopped to the cell. <laughs> yes. Monokuma took every way, everything away, including the magic stick and the surveillance cameras. The only thing I can rely on are these ears, but they can only hear about three times that of a normal person. So basically, you have no idea what happened in this on this what happened. You have no idea what's happening on this island in the first place. <laughs> Just the worst. 
powerless rabbit like me is the worst. <laughs> now that's time to focus on something like that. More importantly, what should we do? Do we have to do it again? That cruel thing? We have to do it again? Why? Cannot believe it. Mahiru was killed by one of us. Damn it! Yeah, I can't do this anymore. Investigating the press trial? Seriously, I'm done. Everyone feels the same way, but we can't do anything else to sub do it. And there's no way we can just ignore the reason Mahiru was killed. Hey. Yeah, the only thing we can do is investigate. Cause it's bad. Cause we should never forgive that. Killing is something we should never forgive. Chiaki. Ah, Chiaki. Well? Killer has their reasons, I understand that. It's the same for Terra Terra too. It's really all Monokuma's fault, I understand that too. But even so. Killing. I'll we should... never allow it. What I just said. She usually has a head in the clouds, so if we're to say something like that, probably can't forgive this at all. Justice! It's true of me too. Understood. Godless, everyone is gonna die if we don't do it. In order for us, for us all to survive, we must do it. I'm gonna do it! Let's do this! Perhaps. Mahiru probably wants us to do this too. She would want us to reveal the truth behind her death. <laughs> Late, why am I so tired? I understand. If everyone's doing it, I will do it too. But. But please give me a little time. Please give me time to calm myself down a little. Aye. No autopsy straight up. It's gotta be the last thing we see. Also, I'll go tell the others who aren't here about this. You're right. If you, all you have is the announcement, you won't know where the murder took place. I shall excuse myself for now. Hey. Then, let's begin. Who killed Mahiru Koizumi? Koizumi? Why was she killed? Find out after the break. Uh, we gotta find out and solve this already. Nah, we got time to do this. Swipe, we gotta do it. It's the only way. Give me that base drop. I don't wanna do this, but there's that small reason for us to finish it. Do it! I'm the only one who can do this! Hit me! Oh. That's why we cranked the base up to max, because it just travels all the way down the back of my chair. And it's like, yeah. Just need to take a look at the mana kick file. The mana pad. Victim is Mahiru Koizumi. Estimated time of death is around 3.30 pm. Height 5 foot 4, weight 101 pounds, chest blocked by my finger. Birthday, April 24th. I know someone whose birthday is that day too. Shame. This, the scene of the crime where the body was discovered is inside the beach house at Chandler Beach. Cal oh, wait. Can I hide this? Yeah. The victim is Mayu Kazumi. Time of death, 3 o'clock. Ooh, 3 o'clock? It's like one and a bit hours ago. The scene of the crime is where the body discovered inside the beach house. Cause death with a single clean bullet to the head with a blunt instrument, no other, no other conspicuous external injuries, no trace of foreign substances such as drugs. Okay. Yeah. Round 3 pm. Time comes reach and I arrived at the diner. Okay. So it's when we arrive. Alright. Then if we just come to the beach house instead. Nah. That's not time to feel regret. I need to focus on doing as much as I can right now. And then, I'm gonna find out the truth behind my death and execute the executioner. It's the only way the rest of us can survive. Survive. Ah. Let me load that into my chamber of truth. Okay. Right. Spidey sense. Ah! Overwhelming. Okay, so we got five people to talk to, we got a, the body, the mask, the bat, the door, the drink rack, the bin, the place we couldn't get in before, this is overwhelming, alright. First, uh, okay, that's how we get out of here, good to know. 
First, what's good, Shiaki? You. What else is good? This is suspicious, I think. She finds the sound of clue. What kind of clue? Okay. Another footprint from earlier. They're in front of the entrance facing the beach, right? Ah, uh, that. Well? How do you make Kazuichi's footprint show that you guys were the first ones to go inside the beach house? But these footprints are just the opposite. They're coming out of the beach house. Ah. Oh. Hey. Now you mention it. Thought those footprints were strange too. You did? Uh. First, I tried to go into the beach house from the door facing the road. It didn't open, so I went around and tried to go in from the beach side door. You couldn't come in from the road side because Mahiru's body was blocking it, right? Hmm. That's when I noticed these footprints. Footprints leading from the beach house to the tunnel look like they belong to one person. Someone's footprints leading out of the beach house, huh? It's definitely suspicious. Huh? Now that you mention it, Peko says that she went for a little swim, right? Could those footprints be... Well... Unfortunately, I went swims to scout the first beach. I do not know anything about this beach. Maybe. Okay. Is that really true? But still... Stop doubting Peko! You did that in the first case as well, you stupid wench. But these, tu these tunnels go straight back to the, from the beach house to the tunnel. Since I was swimming at the beach, of course my footprints would lead from the shore to the tunnel. Huh? Then, whose footprints are these? It appears. No mistakes that these are the killer's footprints. I have no clue who that might be. Yeah, because if you think about it, they left from the beach house and they went out the front door because they couldn't go out the back door because Mahi was blocking it. So they left footprints. <sighs> Whoever it was would have been in a hurry because then. Um, I don't even know why. But whoever it was must have been in a hurry because they didn't clear up the, their own footprints. Like, it's footprints and sand, it's not that hard to cover your tracks. Anywho, no mistake that these are the killer's footprints, but I have no idea who that might be. Huh. Well, for now, it's obvious that this is the clue, don't you think? Yeah, it's probably an extremely important clue. Let me write this down. Trash can. Maybe there's a clue inside this trash can. This is like an Ace Attorney game, or like... The stupid 999, or Xeroscape, whatever that series is called. That's what I thought, but... There's only a bunch of empty plastic bottles. Don't see anything that looked like a clue. Guess it's not that easy, huh? But I'm gonna write it down anyway. <sighs> I think I'll finish this investigation and I'll, I'll stop and pick it up tomorrow. There's a lot of drinks inside the refrigeration, but it's really, really tar. But compared to last time, I feel like there's less drinks. People take a lot of drinks from here. The entire top row is missing. Not only that, the only drinks left in here look either sweet and coloured. They're looking healthy. Mahiru. I'm just saying, help you in this. Pika pika. I'll never forgive killing. Hmm. However. Jackie seemed quite different from his usual self. He must feel very strongly about killing. That, it's not just Jackie. There's no way anyone would forgive something like this. I guess you're right. A little right, bat. According to the Monokuma file, Fatal Blow was dealt to Mahiru with a blunt object. That blunt object is this metal bat, right? Ah, this metal bat. Yep. It's the same as in the Twilight Syndrome murder case. Oh, it says the position of her body and everything. Oh. Ah. Well. There's a girl named Girl E who was killed in the game during the fourth day. Um. That's gotta be a real picture. Just like shaded. Ain't no one drawing something that that precise. Maybe the bat and stuff on the left. But the actual girl and the 
zoom down. So look at the wall behind her. That's the that's the real picture, realish. This doctor's show, but you know. Also, in fact, you know, I'm not gonna say that just in case I'm wrong. Uh, that girl was covered with a buff and metal bat, just like Mahiri. Hey, hey. Did you did you also play that game, Hajime? Is that why you're curious about that metal bat? Yeah, that's exactly it. But did you play it too? Uh, then I'm sure you know this, but this case, the case this time is strongly connected to Twilight Syndrome murder cases, I think. In order to solve the mystery behind Mahu's death, you probably need to solve that game's mystery too. Even if you solve the game's mystery, all the clues in it were lousy and useless. I mean, it started ambiguously, and it was still ambiguous when it ended. That's wrong. That's because you haven't beaten the game. If you do get the, the game over thing, we were the fifth person to hit game over. Bian? Finish the game with the game over, but you have to beat it. Mm. I'm not I'm not some e-girl who talks about video games you've never beaten. Mm. <laughs> I feel like e-girl and go gamer are interchangeable here. This wedge is not a wedge at all. So, what am I supposed to actually do to beat the game? Can't stop thinking about it for some reason. But for now, I should focus on this investigation. Please, let's do a co-op playthrough. Come on, Jackie. So it's okay to say this method about is absolutely the murder reference, right? Yep, yep. I'm gonna read it in my book. Okay, Kazuki's text. Hmm. That's weird. Oh, what do you mean? Ah. Oh, I wanted to calm myself down a little, so I thought about getting a drink from that refrigerator. When they opened it a few days ago, I'm pretty sure there were a larger variety of drinks. Man. Well, I guess I'm just imagining things. I mean, if you guys are out drinks right now, huh? What you, t what you talking about? Huh? Seriously, it's okay. Resolved on my own, so just drop it. The heck? You started it. Time to go in the closet so I could come back out of the closet. It was half open. It's half open now, and last time it was like fully closed, yeah? It's a little suspicious. You should probably head inside and investigate here too. If I jumble or just oppose or paraphrase the words, I apologize, but only a little bit. I'm sorry, I love this song too. This is a pretty suspicious walk-in closet. Homicide, that's what it's called, good. So much to go on the shelves of floor, only one person could stand in here. If you think about it this way, it means it's possible for only one person to stay in here. Huh? Something on the floor. The other thing is a gummy candy. Finding candy on the floor in a place like this, clearly unnatural. If it's connected to the incident, someone dropped this while they were inside the closet. Yellow gummy has been added. I didn't eat it. That would be nasty. There's a shelf. There's a lot of stuff jammed on the shelves, even some surfboards in the surfboard case. But did not put away properly at all. A few boards of stuff on the shelf, and some boards have been left out instead of being put in the case. Also, an empty surfboard case as well. Jeez, how clear this. Uh, I guess that's everything. Rotation devices, snorkels, nets, lots and paint supplies too. Not much else. Ah, bah. Yeah, it's only that three. Ah, bye. See if we can at least get this room done. Mahu, 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 Mahu. This is two words. And this wish would only happen in song lyrics. Alright, you're out. Perhaps. Mahiru probably wants us to do this too. She would want us to reveal the truth behind her death. However. But what she really wanted, she probably wanted to spend time with all of us peacefully, without something like this happening. Ah. Ah, what is this? Is this is mask. Someone bring this from the toy section of the supermarket. Maybe party goods. Regardless, why is it even here? 
like someone wouldn't recognize anyone else in the map in the mask. We all got different color hair. Could it be? Do the killer wear that to conceal their face? See a aforementioned comment. Now that totally stand out. I mean it's such a gaudy mask. Um Gaudy mask? Huh? Ha, that mask! You've seen this? So yeah. Sunwitch Esperita! Uh, yay. It's a super fun anime with a viewership surpassing 90% in my country. It's like Dragon Ball, but, but worse. An anime that has a viewership of only 90%, of over 90%? Is Soja's country really alright? Ah, uh, Paradisia. It cannot be. Could it be? Was that mask placed next to the body? Yeah, yeah, it was. That's true. Could it be? C could it be what? I am sorry. Please give me some time. For reasons unknown, Sonya rushed out of the beach house. What's with her? It appears. Looks like she knows something. Is that the case? I shall wait until she decides to talk about it. I guess the it was emphasized by us and she didn't actually emphasize it. So to be worked up, it must be something big. What else she does? Yoink. Pretty anime girl mask. Esperito. Esperito. Bada 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 chiquito. Ah, oh, that's mine. Oh. Despair syndrome. She lost all the life in her body. It's as if she's a shell. This is really the energetic Mahiru I knew. See her laying in front of me. I still can't believe it. Can't connect this lifeless body to the high spirited Mahiru. We don't have time to wallow in cement. In, se in sentiment either. Wallowing in cement is really hard. Unless you're like a hippo. And even then you can only wallow in it until it dries and then you're stuck too. Save. No, I can just stand here. I slap both hands onto my cheek and face Mahiru's body one more time. Mahiru is leaning against the beach house door that leads to the road. She leaned on the door like this, would have been impossible to open. Maybe Mahiru tried to run away when she was attacked and tried to crawl to, to the door. Everything's can be seen in the bloodstains on the floor, the streets as she crawled through them. So she used all her energy to crawl away, leaned against the door and took her last breath, just like a certain other person stabbed near a shower room. Mizuno. Someone just had stronger head to run. She must have felt really deaf desperate. How how can we can update the Monokuma file? Monokuma just really bad at his job. Alright. Pin the door. Oh level up. My hero is leaning against this door, so I can open it. This is the shower room. There's a notice on the door. Even from the illustration, it looks like it's being repaired or under construction, something like that. <laughs> That's right, the shower's being repaired, so water will come out. But what about hot water? Well, that's impossible too. The shower's out of order, and isn't it just a waste of space? I'm sorry! Sorry! So when I was planning to fix it, I'm, my magic stick was taken from me. I never got around to fixing it. The heck? What does your magic stick have to do with repairing? You're so evil. Anyway, it's all Monokuma's fault. Everything is all Monokuma's fault. Ha ba 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 ba. Your doubtful eyes are telling me you think I'm Monokuma's accomplice. <laughs> you must have read my mind. <laughs> Don't think what you want of me. I've already given up. Got it. But let me tell you this one more time. As long as you guys work together. Should be able to stand against any kind of despair. I promise I will help with that. What help? Doing the opposite. Oh, anyway, looks like the shower room is definitely out of order. I guess you should check the inside too. Okay, guess you should check the inside. Yeah. And I can save after this. This is a really... Ooh. 
give me that shower room, I will take it for free to IVF. This is huge. You can also use it as a dressing room. But changing the beast house is forgive forbidden. Jeez, that's an unreasonable rule. Why is that even a rule? You can't change in the house next to the beach. You gotta go change in that toilet in the diner or something. Gotta check your toilets. Can't really use it as a step stool. Oh, for the window. Gotcha. Gotta, gotta whip and then talk to a car lady. Boo. I guess no one's in here. I was thinking the killer was hiding in here after they failed to escape. <laughs> Wouldn't be that easy. Look at the window. Small, but maybe you can crawl out of it somehow. Oh, it probably doesn't mean anything if someone can crawl through it. Cat seems to take my mind off it. Oh, but the ceiling's really high. So that window is also situated in a very high place. It's like two and a half Akanes. So high, even if I stretch out my hand. Probably can't reach it. It's probably about nine feet? Wait. Six foot seven. If I can jump two feet, I can touch it. I can get out of that. In a pinch. I could jump off the toilet and make it heavy. Also, how you play? This game is messing with me now. Ah, Kade's only 5'7, she's tiny. Wait. I keep forgetting that tallest person here would like Byaki. Ah, oh. Nekimara is 6'4. Byaki is 6 dead. So even though she looks kind of short. No, that's still like 10 feet. Perspective. Uh, it'd be impossible to go in and out through, up and out through there. What? Are you still thinking about that window? Yeah, huh? I think the killer might have escaped through there. Leave it to me! Alright, I got it! A, a picture that helps you out. Ah. Now then. Come on, give me a piggyback ride. I'll check the window for you. Pitching didn't help. It was like I'm the one who's pitching out. You give me a piggyback ride, you're the gymnast. You're the hedge fighter chick. Give me a lift. I'll beat you up! You don't hurry up, I'll punch ya. I'm really into this. I don't wanna say. It's not gonna matter. I just leave it to you. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, my panties are clean. Thank you. I think that's good. That a deep sigh and bent over under the window. Alright! Yeah. She shouted, kinda of jumped onto my shoulders. <laughs> Pan up, please. Hey, your balance sucks. Make sure your stance is wider. Mm. Y you, you're a lot heavier than I expected. <laughs> so buff. Like, every time I get a massage, they tell me I'm just a mass of muscles. Yeah. A massage, huh? Do you have a trainer or something since you're the ultimate gymnast? He's straining, you can hear it in his voice. Nah, I don't have a trainer. My stepmom's lovers like to get drunk and give me full body massages. Mm. Shouldn't have asked. So, how's the window? Let's see. Hmm. I see, I see. So that's what happened. Ah. D did you find anything? Well, since there's this iron bar, I was pretty sure no one would be able to get through the window. Yep. But check it out. Huh. Ch check it out? Hold on. I'll give it a try. It's kind of my shoulders. I... I turned my neck so high that I started to worry. Ooh. This iron bar ain't even pinned down. Looks like you can open and close it pretty easy. Huh. See? My head can fit through, no problem. Yeah. What you need to do is find your love, your friendly neighborhood Hajime. Then it's not impossible to go in and out of that window? Yep. Yep. Yep, yep. 
Yeah, it jumps off my shoulders and flashed a wide grin. Isn't this a big discovery? But the problem is, how were they able to reach that window? Hmm. Even if I jump, I can't really reach it, because I'm only 5'7". <laughs> if two people were together like us, it wouldn't be a problem, right? If that's the case, it would mean the killer had an accomplice. Huh? Accomplice? Sounds like a big word. The name of Kung Fu Master. <laughs> but even if there were, <laughs> even if there was an accomplice, doesn't that black as that sort of stuff be inside? Like, but if you really think about it, this one person could get out of here without help, right? Huh? Really? So. Yeah, like. I got it. A freaking ninja could do it, you know? Ninja can climb fences and walls no problem, right? But sadly, I am not in this game. Just as I thought. It looks difficult to go in and out through that window. Why? What the heck? I don't even know. I even took time to help you. I didn't even took time to lend you my wisdom. You pissed me off. Just the one that said was suspicious. I took time to pitch in and help. You. It's just a waste of time to help you out. Oh, you saw them, that panty. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, it's not like it's the end of the world. I'm telling you, I didn't look at them. Don't tell Chiaki she will murder me. Truth, butler, everything in the star room. Ah, I've done all that I can, it's not enough. Some of the clues here, I don't think I have enough to find the truth. I think I should try and investigate that again to find out why Mahu got killed. Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. Also known as Tomorrow Syndrome Murder Case because. Because I need to, I need to rest, I'm, so, I'm yawning every other. What? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see.